Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Rain Day Gaming. My name is Rain Day and today sit back and relax as I take you through how to play Zeus. That's right, no jokes, no montages here. This is all about real information for Smite players who want to learn how to play the god Zeus, understand how his abilities work, and use them effectively. I'll be walking over Zeus's combo, how to play and build him in this guide, and you'll be seeing the gameplay in action yourself. Now Zeus is a very fun mage, one of the easier mages now a days to pick up and play and, and pretty much do well with. So if you're a beginner and you like mages, Zeus may be the one for you. But I have to say that Zeus also brings a lot to the table even in the highest level professional Smite Pro League competition play. And that's because Zeus is absolutely amazing at dishing out damage and area damage specifically. Zeus has a couple of tweaks to his kit after recently uh, being changed, I would say maybe six, six months ago or so, um, to be able to go ahead and, and, and extend his poke and what that means is it's in tandem with his shield uh, that he's able to now poke players and enemies who are near him at a significant degree much more than he was able to and that means that he's able to get his damage off a lot easier without putting himself in too dangerous of a situation but now as you're playing as Zeus and if you've been playing as Zeus before you may know that Zeus is a god that gets focused a lot because he can do that much damage and because he has no actual escape and so I'm going to teach you how to play him and how to use his abilities how you want to be comboing them it's relatively simple but I'm gonna really show you especially in the build nowadays how you can really maximize staying alive as Zeus as one of our characters does go down that's Prometheus playing as a Poseidon there and the Apollo Azana is getting away slightly I get a couple of basic attacks and get hit by the Hercules boulder and I'm backing up as Azana gets taken down somehow by that Hercules and must have been the boulder that did reach him and Zeus goes ahead and backs I throw my Aegis shield out to get a little bit of poke onto the Anubis and the Guan Yu causing a little bit of damage and then going back to base now as you see, I'm starting out with Shoes of the Magi. Shoes of the Magi, pretty good item. I, I like it a lot. And, um... I think Kronos uh, Shoes of Focus with the extra cooldown reduction may be nice, but I'm going for Kronos Pendant second. I like Kronos Pendant second on Zeus because it allows me to have my abilities up more often, and I think for Zeus and his poke, that's the most important thing. Zeus does a ton of damage already. Uh, it's the t it's the fact that his, his number three scales off of how many charges he has. So he's doing triple damage with that, and the fact that he can get multiple bounces off to a character and, and do the damage with the Aegis Shield. And that is a big deal, um, and I think that in itself means that you can start with Shoes of Focus and be okay. I like the early uh, Shoes of the Magi for the penetration. As you see, the Guan Yu is jumping into the Cavalry Assault there onto the Poseidon, and he gets taken out by Reaper, the Jing Wei's ult. Now she's coming down trying to fight me. I'm trying to tell my teammates, hey, I'm here by myself. I see the Zeus approaching as well. I gotta get out of here, but I Aegis the damage, and the Geb Shield comes out. The Zeus is still here, and I'm down to 34 health, but I make it out alive. Thank you. Goodness, thank you, Smite God. So I guess I'm playing as right now, and I guess Zeus gets a little bit of the favor here. Being the big daddy over in Olympus, he gets he gets a couple of uh, you know, a couple of the easy things. But now this Zeus is in trouble. You know why he's extended and he's got no escape. I get the kill, the damage bouncing off of my Aegis Shield and my number one, my chain lightning. Of course, Zeus has to have an ability called Chain Lightning. How could he not? He's freaking Zeus, and that does the job. Guan Yu Jingwei and Hercules over here fighting against the Nemesis, a very good boxer, a really good character. I have a dare actually prepared for for you guys, but that's going to come out later, either in this week or in a little bit, as the Jingwei, the newest smite god, uh, coming out just recently in patch 3.6, uh, Escape from the Underworld, has uh, has gotten a couple basic attacks on me, and I'm forced to retreat. Now, I'm doing pretty well in this game. I'm getting pressured out of not really being in a lot of these fights, but that's, again, a great way to play Zeus. Zeus is not a guy you want in the front line. You want Zeus to be a god that, with his poke, can actually poke people out of the game, very much like Soul or even Kronos. You can poke people so hard that they have to retreat or in a bad position for when they start their team fights, and then all of a sudden, you've got the other enemy team at half health. Now, the other thing I want to mention, and let's start getting into pa his passive and abilities, is that when you're playing with Zeus, his passive is called Overcharge, and what that means is I get picked up here by the Hercules, and that's a big problem, so I immediately throw my Lightning Storm onto me, and the uh, ultimate comes out onto the Hercules, and I detonate and get the kill. We turn that around very quickly, and I've got another gold for my Kronos pendant now and that's a fantastic turnaround there you saw just how dangerous and deadly it can be and that's why you don't ladies and gentlemen do not please 
stand in the lightning storm. I don't care if you like rainstorms. I don't care if you like my clan rainstorm, which I didn't. I didn't actually. It wasn't going for that. But uh, uh, I do not stand in it. Do not stand in this lightning storm at all. Okay, because it will kill you. There's just. It's just a. It's just a rule. Get out of lightning storm. It's too much damage to take. And and Zeus will pretty much get a pentakill if all five players were to just stand in lightning storm and he threw all his damage on. I'm pretty sure Zeus would just guarantee himself a pentakill. And and so you have to move out. So it's a great spacer. I say this word spacer, and I hope you guys start learning this vocabulary. What I mean is it gives you uh, uh, the ability to create space for yourself where characters do not want to approach. It's the same type of way that a warrior or a guardian might zone someone Why they have an ability up like in a mirror. He's got his freeze up, and he's, he's staying in front of you in between the squishy you're trying to go to. Maybe you're an assassin or a warrior in the enemy team, and you're trying to get to a squishy, and he's there. He's zoning you out with his freeze just like that. He puts his Aegis Shield down. You don't want to pass the Aegis Shield because then you'll be close to taking the Chain Lightning Bounces. Now, I was talking about his passive. It's called Overcharge. What it means is when he he hits a basic attack onto his enemy, Zeus actually can stack charges. Now, when he stacks a charge onto his enemy, it coordinates with his number three, his, his uh, detonate charge, but it also coordinates with his passive, which means he will gain extra damage based on the amount of charges somebody has from his basic attack. So his basic attack will hit for one normal basic attack damage, and then all of a sudden, if he has one charge on it, it will hit for 30% more in the next basic attack. The next basic attack after that on his third charge will hit for a total of 60% more. So you will be increasing the damage, so you can actually, and those charges reset, uh, so if you had three charges and you basic attack someone continuously for five times, at the end of those five times, they would still have three charges, they would have taken 60% more damage off of three of those. Now the Guan Yu is going ahead and jumping right onto me in the back line, I throw my ultimate down there as well, as the Zeus, other ultimate enemy Zeus comes out, I did not take a lot of damage, and the, the uh, spiker turned on to the Guan Yu as a name I can't even come close to pronouncing. The Anubis is here, and I'm almost dead, but I popped my Aegis at the perfect time, having it there just in case I was going to get focused by that Anubis, and now Gab is here in the back line. Avian Pal getting a nice knockup. I think the Anubis is going for it, and I actually hit my Chain Lightning, but not onto the Anubis enough. I have a detonate, and it does help to kill the damage, but Azana gets the kill onto Silver Duke, and Reaper takes out Azana. Unfortunately, she goes up into the air, still chasing the Gab. I want to get a little health back, but it looks like that Jingwei has to be down. No way. She She's living that knockup whirlpool combo, and Reaper gets taken out by the Reaper herself. Now, you see, I go into my build, Chronos pinned at second, and now Dynasty Plate Helm. This is an item that is being very popular right now in the SPL. The reason I love it, the reason I like it, and, and the reason people are doing it is because it adds early penetration. It adds early, so like with Shoot the Magi and with Dynasty Plate, I think I've got 25 penetration already on my third item. But not only that, it's magical power and it's physical protection. A lot of the people who are going to be diving Zeus are going to be people like Kali, people like Guan Yu, people like Jing Wei, trying to get to the back line, even though Jing is, is a hunter, so she may not be diving like an assassin would. But you would get the physical assassin's going to be diving Zeus, and now we're getting super pressured here. Uh, and that physical protection is going to help you out. But not only that, it's just efficient stats. You get the penetration, you get the power, magical power, which you need still, and you get the uh, physical protection. So it's really good for Zeus. This build right now, as you see, I go into, uh, I forget which, which blade is called, but this is going to go into Winged Blade. I'll talk about why I get Winged Blade in a second, but I think it's a great pickup on Zeus. I've been seeing this in the SBL, and I actually really like the decision making behind it because every single stat helps Zeus. Every single stat helps him be more effective. His damage is there, guys. You don't have to worry about Zeus's damage. In this how-to, I really want to discuss how to play this guy. And again, it, his area damage. As you see, I'm throwing my Aegis Shield and hitting my Chain Lightning at the peak, and I'm getting a ton of damage. Avian's ult is there, and I'm ready to ult with him. I'm ready to basically make sure my Lightning Storm hits one to two targets each time and at least gets one charge onto them so that I can actually cause enough damage. See, look at this charge right here, and Jingwei up in the air, but we actually almost take her out. And now uh, Azana picks her up. Reaper goes over to base, and Guan Yu's forced to go back to base as we look to get a couple of minions in there, but I'm going to back. Hopefully, the Zeus does not take me out, but he does throw his Lightning Storm, and that's a waste, although he does get the kill onto Azana, but now he's taking the double damage, and look, I've half-lifed him with that combo right there. You guys can see it. It's the 2-1. Let it bounce off a couple of times, and then you hit your 3. It's a very simple combo. Now, when I was talking about the basic attacks, you can also apply those charges through uh, Chain Lightning. So the Chain Lightning applies charges. Basically, all of his abilities except his number two applies a charge. So his basic attacks. But now look at this. Wingblade Health, Crowd Control Reduction, 
movement speed, and attack speed. Now, not only that, not only that, which Zeus, because of his basic attack passive, really helps with his attack speed, applying more charges. The movement speed helps him to be more uh, mobile because he has no escape. The uh, health is uh, great, so he can survive some of the burst if people do get to the backline and burst him down. Of course, the cooldown reduction means that when he gets mummified, when he gets stunned, when he gets all of those things happening, he is going to get out 20% fast. That's a big, big deal. And of course, the passive, when he gets slowed, not only does he doesn't get a slow, he gets a 40% movement increase. So it turns in from a slow to a 40% movement increase, and that is a huge deal for Zeus to be able to get away. His survivability goes up leaps and bounds with this one item, and that's why I like the pick. I have my ult available, and it looks like I'm trying to save it for the right moment. We want to get this Guan Yu, who should be dead. I'm trying to get a couple of basic attacks. I am keep I keep attacking, you see there, but his heal is strong, and I'm not going to be able to finish him off. I do miss my number one there, unfortunately. I throw my Aegis Shield to try and just space out the Zeus from going towards our tower and diving anymore, because our teammates seem to be in a problem, and we are too 24 to 270. This game is not looking too great, but I am 206, and that is always a good sign. I've played my Zeus well. Again, this is how you want to ideally be playing Zeus. You're, I'm not see. I'm not in a lot of engagements. I am not the front line. I am the back line. I am spacing with these characters. I'm trying to get this damage buff, but she ended up getting it. She looks like she's going to get this, but I actually want to get this speed, and I do grab it, and I actually take the speed. And that is me just saying, you know what? I, I want it. I'm sorry. I, I didn't get my red. I didn't get my blue. I'm a little salty, and now I want my speed. I'm sorry, even though Nemesis might have been a little bit better with that, or even Apollo, especially our hunter, I wanted that buff. I wanted I wanted a little bit of something there. And so now we're going to be moving into Rod of the Booty, or Rod of Tahuti as we, we call it. I like Rod of the Booty though, guys. Come on. I mean, that's a funny funny way to say it. I love it. It's going to help not only with our basic attacks being strong, but it's going to help with our overall magical power. It's going to increase that by 25%. I talk about this a lot. Single most stat efficient item for increasing your magical power because it makes every other magical power item you have 25% more effective. The Jingwei is going, and I see that, but I hit the Aegis Shield, and I hit my number one, and my Chain Lightning, and my and a basic attack is what I meant, and we get the kill onto uh, the Reaper there, but now I've got my Chain Lightning. It bounces off of Zeus, and oh my god, what a fantastic Sanctuary by him, but he's being pursued by the Nemesis and Spiker gets the kill onto the Booty Slayer. Oh man, slay that booty. Well, your booty just got slayed in this video on this How to Zeus. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. The number one, like I was saying, everyone, is really about um, it's, it gives Zeus a great potential to poke, like I was saying. It's a, it's a fantastic damage-oriented ability. Um, as you can see there, 260 damage plus, let's see, how much percentage of my health? It's going to be 40% of my magical power. Now, there is a little bit of a delay before it goes uh, to the other players, so um, as it's bouncing, there's going to be a slight delay on that, but that's okay. You know, that is not a problem. Uh, that is actually going to be a, a very, very uh, a potent uh, ability still, and as I see here, I'm in, the, I'm in the middle as there is a little bit of an engagement going on, and you know what? Something is happening with my computer. Let's see. And I apologize for that, ladies and gentlemen. My screen went out, so I have to bring that back. But no worries, this guide is still on. As you see, I go ahead and get the damage onto the Zeus, and that's how powerful it can be. As you can see, with this build, although I built a little bit of physical protection, I've also built that Winged Blade item, which is no magical power on it, but a lot of utility. I'm still doing plenty of damage to the targets I need to be damaging. And with my ultimate, I can still space a team out. With Zeus, because you have that huge ultimate, it is so hard for teammates to fight under a lot of objectives, and not just in Arena, but in Clash, when you play Zeus, you're going to have a ton of objective control, more so than a lot of characters. I mean, one of the most single damaging and and and, and objective focused um, ultimates, other than I would say maybe Isis. Um, you've got a couple of others, but I mean this really is something that you just cannot fight in and it, it will force the team to scatter if they stay in it it is a secure death almost and so that is going to be a big big uh bonus for you if you're able to take advantage of it and use it smartly now i've got the chrono spin and so i will have some increased cooldown reduction and so i'll be able to have this ultimate up that much more and as you can see it already does damage especially to people like anubis it's not going to be a lot that they're going to be able to withstand as i go ahead and get the kill on to silver duke 310 the anubis there the guan yu doing his talent assault onto me as you see the ultimate from the Nemesis coming out onto the Jingwei in the back line. Azana's is on a rampage, taking down the Hercules, and now I've got my damage here available. And dang, oh dang, the Guan Yu is in trouble. I'm hitting him with the basic attack one. Oh, I missed mine. I'm trying to hit my other one. He goes on a cavalry charge. I hit that other one. It's not enough. I try to hit him with my chain lightning, but he's too fast. And it does go down uh, for him to get away. But I do get the kill on a Reaper, and I'm 6 0 and 12. Great positioning. I am taking the game in my back line. I'm not rushing my play, and that is a big 
difference. Now I'm going to go ahead and try and get this speed and this damage. Hopefully I'm going to trade out with uh, my man Spiker here. But you know what? I actually take it over Azana. I'm the, I'm so greedy. I am the greediest. I am the greediest Zeus ever taking that. But again, I love that on my attacks. That additional uh, attack, attack, um, basic attack help from that buff. I do enjoy that, especially because Zeus really can uh, stack his damage on that with his number three. Now, we'll talk about his number two right now, Age of Soul. As you can see, there's this, this ability has a couple of things to it. One, it does initial damage, and it does quite a lot. So if you build damage onto Zeus and you throw this out, you want to see if you can hit this onto the player you're trying to combo off of. So you throw your two, then you throw your one onto the shield or to the player. It's easier if you throw it onto the shield because that's a stationary target, and the one will bounce off to targets nearby. If you try and throw your one onto the player, you have to aim that a little bit more accurately. As I see, the Jingwei is in a problem, and I'm spacing out their team. They cannot pursue the Jingwei on that same path. They have to take a more... Uh, a less direct path and I see the Zeus might be in trouble there but Guan Yu gets a heal onto him and he decides to leave the Hercules is trying to get me with a knockup but I hit one basic attack I throw my shield and there you go see I get the shield right I don't try and hit the Hercules who takes a weird path and might have juked me I hit the shield and it bounces off the shield to him and the shield to him so it's guaranteeing the fact that I'll land a couple of those charges now my Aegis Assault like I said does do damage and the thing is when you're clearing minions it also hits in an AoE. So if I hit the shield, it hits everything in an AoE around that shield in that area. So if I throw my two down, I could basically go to the side of it, hit the center, and each basic attack will hit every minion like I'm hitting a basic attack on every minion with one of my basic attacks. So it's extremely efficient in terms of farming. So what that means, again, I'll, re I'll reiterate, you throw this down and you hit the shield, and if the, all the minion wave is within the area of that shield, as you see right there, if these were my enemy minions, I could basic attack that every single minion would be getting hit at the same time so extremely efficient extremely good clear now it used to knock back minions but now it does not back so he, he does not knock back so he did get a little bit of a buff lately and now Zeus is just do, doing too much here and I'm gonna go ahead and take him out but a fantastic Aegis but I really want him because he got he got out of that with the two good Aegises onto me he, he got he got away with another kill as well so I had to finish him off there so I do get that kill and with I, I throw out an, a, a lightning storm that's not not super like tactical but it is there so i can get that kill and i'm seven and oh and you know what i don't mind i take out their zeus i get a kill i feel pretty good about that that's what ultimates are for i'm a guy who loves to conserve my beads my eight my sanctuary my purification and my ultimates for like perfect scenarios but sometimes if you can get a kill with your ultimate use it because you know what that's what it's for it'll be up in another 37 seconds anyway and and pretty much when we have a next huge engagement i'll have an opportunity to have it within either the next one or two big engagements and i got a kill from it i think that's worth it one of the good things to pay attention to now a lot of you know the top five series is going to be next is May, uh, is warriors so stay tuned to that we are looking at zeus we'll be looking at mages and other characters through dare me's how to plays and just regular smite gameplays here but i've had a lot of fun playing these warriors and so we're gonna have that warriors video out for you guys as the next top five but i also know you guys asked me to do a top five favorite my my favorite gods and i will be putting that out as well onto the channel so you can look out for both of those coming relatively soon as a soul reaver procs under the hercules and he's at basically 20 percent health now after the nemesis ults him she's going out she Pops her shield, and what a good amount of damage. Now the Guan Yu pursuing. They're going to have to go around the way, and that forces the easy Poseidon ult. Now the Guan Yu is in trouble. I hit him with my Aegis shield. As you can see, oh, not enough damage, but they are all so low. The Anubis is just a standing guy right there. I hit him with my lightning, and that's going to do the kill. I also get a little bit of damage onto the uh, Zeus, but I do not detonate because it's not enough, and I, I don't want to waste the cooldown in case they do start chasing me, and I want to have that. Now, why is detonate important? important why do you need your three charges what's the point we're 51 and 37 by the way we have turned this game around 27 21 kills and we are up by 2000 gold but why is detonate charge important because if you get three stacks it allows you to go ahead and triple the damage that ability does so it does basically 135 damage plus 18 percent of your magical power at level at, at basically a uh, fully stacked level five on one charge okay but it also if you get two charges onto an opponent and that's by any means so your chain lightning could apply two charges be because it bounces off your aegis shield and your chain lightning or you could just basic attack it if you have two charges it then does 
double that damage. If you have three charges, it does triple that damage. And that's a huge deal. Guan Yu is over here trying to aggress on me, and my wing blade does not get procced. I am not slowed yet, and so I am kind of in a bad spot, but the Geb Shield saves me, and I get my damage buff. Now, why do I upgrade level that three first? I go three, one, two, four for abilities. Uh, well, obviously, prioritizing your ultimate whenever you can, but three, one, two in terms of my abilities, prioritizing the Lightning Storm because of the damage that does and how effective it is in terms of Zeus's overall damage. Um, but the reason I upgrade my three first is because at max rank, if I have three charges onto an opponent, which I can get without mana, right? I can get that without mana if I just basically attack them correctly and, or put myself in the right position. It's 405 damage plus 54% of your magical power. That can be a that can be quite significant in killing someone early game when you have three stacks on them because the triple damage is obnoxiously good. And that is why Zeus can be so devastating, especially early game. And if you let him get going, it can just snowball because those three stacks, they become easier and easier to apply as we get the kill on the Silver Duke to win this game. Now, of course, we've talked about Lightning Storm. It can do a total of 900 damage and 250% of your magical power, which right now is 653. So look at that. It's actually 488 now, but it was 653. That's quite a lot of damage. I mean, 50... 250%, that's, that's more, I mean, what, 250% of 488, that's an insane amount of damage if people's dealing that, like I said, they are dead, here's the bonus round, this is the first one I've shown on the channel, the Guan Yu ults onto me, and now I get knocked up, the Guan Yu slows me as well, my, my, uh, my, oh my god, what is it, my wing blade activates, I throw my number two down, I try to hit my one, but the Anubis takes me out, my Aegis was used too early, and I cannot detonate the charge, although the Anubis is still alive, actually he goes down right now by Silver, by Spiker, Silver Duke takes Taten out, but the Guan Guan Yu and the Zeus are too much to handle. Avian Pal, I don't think you're going to be able to do it, buddy, unless you have the most epic knockup I've ever seen. 1,069 damage. I got focused by the Anubis and the Guan Yu, which was smart by them. And I do go 10-1, take my first death in the bonus round of that game. It was a 10-0 real game. And we do get the bonus defeat, but we do win overall. And I think we have a great video on our hands here in this How to Play Zeus. Hopefully you guys enjoy this How to Play series. I'll walk you through the build now. But again, this is for newer players, people who want to play Zeus and want to understand how his abilities work, want to understand how to combo his abilities, when people are at you, what to do, how to how to aim, which what strategies to do in terms of building and, and upgrading your items. That is what this is about. And, and this is what we're doing here at Rainy Gaming, serving players and giving them valid and, and straight to the for straightforward, to the point information. That's what I love. You see the stats on the wing blade there? Absolutely great for Zeus. I, I love it. It's a unique thing. You will not see a lot of Zeus's building it uh, in regular matches, but you will see it in the SPL right now. And Soul Reaver, wow. Great item, especially after Rod of the Booty, not only because you're getting a ton of damage, but you're getting the burst damage. Zeus, with 15% of a god's max health taken off, with his 2-1-3 detonate combo, is going to be so hard to deal with. As you can see, 47,000 player damage, and I bought things like Wing Blade and Dynasty Plate Home. Not huge damage items, but you can see it doesn't matter. That is why those utility, the utility of those items, for me, are more valuable right now than actually going ahead and playing Zeus with full damage. Although he can do a ton of damage if you go that way, he already does a ton. This applies to Conquest, this applies to Clash, this applies to Assault, Arena, any other game mode that you're looking at, and I hope you guys do enjoy this content. If you do, please leave a like, share, comment, and of course, subscribe to the channel. That's the best and easiest way to support me here at Rainy Gaming. I hope you guys keep enjoying these positive gameplays and tutorials, and I look forward to bringing you guys some new top fives, some new dare me's, some new uh, how-tos and all that stuff later this week. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and as always, Remember to never give up, never stop gaming, and I'll see you guys next time.